I refactored the bumper spawner to use shape casting instead of an area, so the bumpers are spawned in a single frame. So first I'll open up the bumper list base script and I'll rename, so I'll just return true for valid spawn location and then I'll make this function rename it to is off screen and take the location and then in the generate chords I'll make a new variable for the chords and then if is off screen new chords I'll return the coordinates, otherwise call the function again until they are valid. And then um, I'll check if the child count is greater than zero before calling the despawn script to keep it from throwing an error when it's dividing by zero. So I'll just make sure everything still works. And it looks like it does. So now I'll move the bumper declaration to the top and call the build function on it. Uh, by default, I just want to randomize the rotation, so I'll move this from the striped bumper into the bumpership base class. So add the build function and randomize rotation. For the shooting star, I randomize the, the direction of movement, so I'll add that to build. And then in the asteroid, I'll change this to build as well to randomly change the size. And finally, in the colony, I already have a build function, so I'll just remove it from ready. And then I actually want it to spawn them when it enters the tree. So tree entered, colony, and then I'll call the draw function here. So this will just take another frame off of the time. So I'll replace that with ready. Or okay. Now I should be able to run this. It's a little bit laggy now because it's building and destroying the colonies, but I'll fix that with the ray casting next. So now I want to completely remove the spawn area scene that I'm using to check for overlaps before it spawns the bumper. Uh, this is, it works okay, but I'm going to use shape casting instead. So I'll delete these and that will remove another frame from the process. So it should make it a little bit more efficient. So then in the bumper spawner, I'll remove the scene, set the spawn location or the bumper position to generate chords instead. And then we'll check if the bumper is valid. And if not, set the position again. And then I'll remove all the spawn area and just spawn the bumper by itself.
So now I've removed all the validation and basically the bumpers are overlapping when they spawn and it's causing them to fly around. So now I'll do the shape casting. Now I can check the bumper location, pass in the bumper here, and then you need a space state to do shape casting. So I already, I use ray casting in the uh, space worm laser. So we'll use this space state and then change that to intersect shape instead. And then you need a new query a physics 2D shape query parameters dot new and then we'll pass this and a maximum of one for the overlaps and then if result return false otherwise return true Now you need to call set shape on the query. This is a shape 2D, so uh, the bumper ship, uh, the biodome tube, is using a collision shape 2D, which has the shape parameter here, and you can change uh, to a circle or a polygon. So this extends the shape 2D, and you can pass the shape directly. So say if the bumper is a collision shape 2D, then query dot set shape. Uh, No. Okay. So I need to get the collision shapes first. So four collision shapes in bumper dot get collision shapes, which just returns a duplicate of the collision shape node. Okay. So then this will. And we want to return true if none of the shapes are colliding. So then we'll say if collision shape is a collision shape 2D, set it to the collision shape dot shape. However, most of the bumpers are using the collision polygon because when you generate the collision sibling from the sprite, it automatically creates a collision polygon. So in this case, it's just a, a vector pool on the polygon. So in this case, else if collision shape is a collision polygon 2D, um, then you need to make a new uh, convex polygon shape 2D and then I set the um, set the points equal the collision shape dot polygon and then uh, query dot set shape on the convex polygon that I just made okay and then in the bumper ship base class um, in 
No, not there. Bumper shit base class. So I'll go ahead. This is the get collision shape. So make a new variable for the shape equals duplicate. And then I'll set the shape rotation equal to the bumper rotation and the shape position So this will just make it work a little better. So I don't have to do as much calculation here. Um, and then I'll set the query.transform equal the collision shape transform. Okay. And we'll see if this works. Hmm. So it's getting stuck on the colony spawning because I didn't change the position. So it's just trying to spawn this in uh, at the origin, which is invalid. So I need to update this function, but I don't actually want to return this shape. Uh, I want to return the domes and tunnels, so I'll delete that, and then make a new array for the shapes, and return the shapes. Then for a tube and tube list, make a new tube shape equals tube dot get collision shape and then add the position to the uh, colony position and append it to the shapes array And then I'll do the same for the domes. So dome and dome list. Dome shape equals dome dot get collision shape. Dome shape position plus equals position. And append it to the shapes array. So now, it actually starts up instead of hanging on the startup screen. And as you can see, all of the bumpers are moving at a reasonable pace. They aren't flying around the screen. So that's it for this Derpstar update. Thank you for watching and have a great day.